there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are grabbing it all in Yoko and Yuki Dr. Rat's Revenge. Now this game was developed by Hoodoo Bear, published by Chili Dog Interactive and it's available for a lovely tiny minuscule £4.19. Now if you've played Chili Dog platforming games before, this is more or less the same thing. Two cute looking four balls, fur balls even, need to save the day from a rat. A doctor rat though, so that's pretty impressive. But once again, with Chili Dog Games, we barely have to play the game thanks to the beautifulness that is a cheat code we can input at the main menu before the game. Yes! So that really does make these achievements an even breezier breeze than before. So overall, with these cheat codes, we can get this game done easily in 20 to 25 minutes. So let us input that code. And it's up, up, down, down, up, up, right, left, left, right, and then it's white or triangle on the PlayStation. And then you'll hear like a sort of cheering noise of sorts uh, when you know that you've done it right. Weird. But anyway, it's creepy as hell, but that should be good. Then we can press a new game to, well, you know, start a new game. So press the B button to skip a cutscene and then press up on the D-pad and then press down to finish it. So the up brings up the portal, the down of the D-pad um, finishes the level and this is how we're just going to skip through a lot of these levels. So normally we'd have to collect batteries to end said levels but like I said what we're going to keep doing is just pressing up then down to finish it until we get to forest level 10 and I will let you know which one that is in just a moment. So this is forest level 9, so press up and down, and this level right here then, don't go up and down, instead we're going to collect the ring that is on the uh, bottom there, and that will unlock us the Gravitron achievement, and then just press the Y button to restart, and then press up and down on the D-pad to carry on. And then, literally just for these next couple of levels, uh, you just keep going, keep pressing up, keep pressing down, to keep on going, keep on going baby! Um, and well, until I tell you, follow my instructions, it says. But I've basically kept all of it in just so you can keep up, and so we both know exactly what we're doing. I'm not nice like that. So, there we go, that just made World 2 a hell of a lot easier, and basically what we're doing, we're going to Forest again, level 10, once again. Forest again, level 10 again. So just keep going for now until I come back, would you? Okay, so we're going to do the portal trick one more time and the next level is what we're actually going to complete. Now, you have to use the left trigger six times and then the right trigger twice, but it's basically a timed sort of section. So you have to time it quite well, otherwise you're going to get crushed quite a bit. So this took me around three or four attempts, but that is why we need to complete this level so we can grab the scissors. So it was six times with the left trigger, twice with the right trigger, but just make sure that you're timing it sort of as good as you possibly can. Um, but it's, it, again, it took me less than a minute with four deaths, so you should be golden nuggets right meow. So we're just gonna keep on cracking on with our lovely little portal trick, thanks to the dogs over at Chili Dog. <laughs> Yeah. 
So this is the last time we'll be using the portal as we get to the next world and immediately just go to the right, collect the cans of paint and that is going to be the next achievement unlocked. So that is as easy as that. So now we can just carry on once again and just keep smashing your little cute ball, fur ball, 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 anyway, through the portals. So we have now rescued Yuki. Now, normally this would be a, a double one where you both have to, you know, do a bit of co op in and all that crap just to grab the batteries. But you can see how this game could be complicated if Chili Dog really didn't put in a cheat code. But, you know, then I assume uh, 27 guides from 27 different content creators wouldn't come out for it then, would it? <laughs> So we are basically just coming up to the end of the game now, so thankfully we don't have to do crap with lasers, but here is another missable achievement. So the rat comes down, we're going to go all the way to the right hand side and then press the left trigger or right trigger and then jump up onto this platform, press the red button and a box will come down on the left hand side. Of course avoid the enemies as you can because you will die straight away. Um, so if one starts coming to you, make sure to jump over or fly over. Um, put them both to the right, left hand side, climb up on the box and jump up. And this is where we found our favourite triangle, and this is where we get our uh, next missable achievement. But from there we can now just go ahead, finish the level, and all is well. So congratulations, you've just finished the game, but we've got a couple more slightly grindy achievements left to do. So go to, for press continue, go to forest level 2, and then what, I what is worth doing, basically we need to die uh, up to 400 times, we need to jump another 400 times, and we need to turn the world however many times as well. But what I would do is just jump once or twice into this mine until you get all the achievements for dying. So what I've done, I've actually left the achievements in for dying 30 times and then dying 60 times and then dying 111 times. Now obviously, like I said, the reason why we jump in so many times is because we do need to jump 400 times. So it just sort of decreases the amount that we have to do a little bit later on. So there we go then, that is for dying 60 times. Now obviously I've edited it down. Um, I haven't done it that quickly. Just to save a bit of time in the video there. Now it should be the one for jumping 130 times. So, you know, very easy achievements, but pointlessly grindy in my personal opinion. It doesn't need to be this grindy, but it is what it is, huh? So there we go then. So now we've died 111 times. Jump a couple more times if you want, it always decreases it. Uh, we can actually just head back to the main menu now. So that's where we go in. Now press continue again. This time, flick your ass over to the portal and just go on to level one right there. And that'll be fine. Now all you gotta do is just press the left trigger or right trigger. And this is the longest achievement in the game. We need to be doing this a total of 489 times. <laughs> yeah. So, the number, I don't know. They must... Everyone at Hoodoo Bay must have literally just, you know, chucked a bunch of numbers in a hat and, um, you know, picked out that one. Right, 489. That'll do, boys. That'll do. 
So just keep going until you unlock the 489 achievement. So here we go then, as soon as the achievement unlocks, so you should have got three achievements then for 72, 200 and odd and the 489. So as soon as this achievement unlocks, just keep spamming that A button slash X button on the PlayStation. Jump, 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 jump. What I would do is probably put on some music or put on a TV show. This does take around <laughs> sort of 10 minutes doing all these achievements. But when that achievement unlocks, this is the last one we need to do, and that is nothing for three minutes. Literally nothing for three minutes. So don't jump, don't press the, just put the controller down. Go, go and piss your pants or something somewhere. Go take a dump, because by the time you've come back, make a cup of tea or whatever, three minutes is up, you're doing nothing, and that should be the last achievement of the game unlocked. So happy days! So that should be a full 1,000 out of 1,000 slash your platinum, so congratulations on that. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Almost forgot <laughs> what you had to do then. Uh, also, don't forget to check me out on all my socials as well. Twitter, Instagram, also Patreon as well. Big shout out to all of my Patreon supporters. And I will see you in the next one then, guys and gals. Big love. <laughs>